We will send you a reminder a few days before your due date. When it's time to return your system, please reuse all original packaging and make sure you have placed the return label over the original label on the front of the box. If you need a new return label, please let us know. Disconnect all cords and cables from the laptop. Slide the laptop into the black neoprene sleeve. The neoprene sleeve is the most commonly forgotten inventory item. Please make sure you include it to provide additional protection for the laptop during shipment and to avoid replacement or additional shipping costs. Place the USB cable and power cord in separate cloth bags and tighten the drawstrings. Please do not use rubber bands, twist ties, zip ties, or plastic bags to secure any cables or cords. Loosely wrap the sensors around the Z-amp, place it in a cloth bag, and tighten the drawstring. Place one of the gray foam sheets on top of the custom cut packaging insert. Next, place the laptop on top of the foam sheet. A second foam sheet goes on top of the laptop for additional cushioning. Any unused containers of 1020 paste can be inserted into the spaces in the front right or left slots next to the laptop. If you would like to return unused earbuds still in the original packaging, slide them in the slot at the front of the box. Please do not return used earbuds or used containers of 1020 paste. Place the cloth bags containing the Z-Amp, power cord, and USB cable on top of the laptop and foam sheet. Do not place the Z-Amp or any other items at the bottom of the box beneath the cushioning to prevent damage to components. Please check the inventory sheet or your contract before returning the system to ensure everything we sent you is returned to us. Close the box and tape along the seam. Please use packing or shipping tape to seal the box. Do not use duct tape as it does not adhere well to cardboard and may unstick during shipment. 